All right. Question number one. How do yep. you get on the Google? How do you get on the Google? That's a very <laughs> um, complicated question. And um, it's, it's, you know, I'm going to give you guys a really, you know, some, some really good answers here today. We, you know, as you know, we like to talk about, you know, the, the what and the why, um, you know, on these, on these calls and, you know, getting on Google is a, you know, is, is a, you know, how do you get on Google is a question that, that business has been asking for a long time. Why? Because, you know, businesses like Empire, who we were talking about yesterday, you know, and, and uh, Edward Windsor, you know, property management companies that we've worked with for, you know, going on four or five, you know, six years, um, you know, they've, they've played what we, what I like to refer to as the, the tortoise game. You know, they've, they've put in their time, um, the long, the long-term effort in order to now reap the rewards of getting a hundred to the tune of a hundred inbound phone calls uh, plus for, for empire industries and 50 or more inbound phone calls uh, for Edward Windsor on a monthly basis that they were not generating, you know, two, three, four years ago before we started this local SEO process. So let me just, so that's, that's the why, I mean, why do we want to do this? Because you can get inbound phone calls where people are already pre-sold when they call you. Why? Because we combine our local search engine optimization and our foundation products, which combine local SEO and reputation management marketing in order to deliver what the customer wants, which is inbound phone calls. And why do we put those two together? Because what good is first page rankings if you've got a bad reputation? <laughs> you know, who's going to pick the phone up and call you if you're in first position, but you've got a one-star rating on Google? And most likely that's not going to happen because one of the bigger ranking factors for ranking on Google is your star rating and how many reviews you have. So that's, you know, just a really quick tip for you right there. And I've been saying this for a long time, you know, is get reviews. That's why they're really inseparable. I've said this many times, you know, and we've talked, um, but the, the, that's one of the, I would say the top three strategies for local search engine optimization is get more reviews. Okay. Give more five-star reviews, and to do that, we help businesses build what we call a reputation culture, meaning like Edwards Windsor and Empire, they've made it a part of the fabric of their business to <clears throat> get reviews. They, they keep a KPI in front and center in front of all their staff as to how many reviews they're getting, and you better believe they talk about it on their monthly or weekly huddle meetings when they actually get together as a team, one of the key performance indicators that, that they talk about is, is, okay, how many reviews do we have this month versus last month? Who got them? And they reward based on that. So it's a part of the culture. It, it's, it's not, you know, we do this sometimes or we do this when we get around to it. It's a part of everything they do. They know that when they've created a, review, a, a referable or reviewable moment, and they've got that window of reciprocity that usually lasts about an hour where somebody's going to be willing to give them a review. They know what to do. They know to send out the link and to ask for the review and capitalize on that. So step one, get more reviews. Step two, build local directory links, meaning make sure that your name, address, and phone number is consistent on at least the top five to 10 directories if you're doing this by hand. I would say there's probably, there's about 73 that we've identified that are the top directories out there. And when we claim the directories for our businesses to make and make sure that the name, address, and phone number and office hours and everything is consistent across the board, number one, like we talked about yesterday, it helps Google to know that, you know, this, that, that basically your information is correct. And it also makes it so that when people go and find you and they see you on all these different directories, they see the same information. They have confidence in knowing that that information is correct because they see it consistently the same. Whereas if it's not, there's going to be confusion, not only with Google, which is, means that you're going to probably get worse rankings. You will get worse rankings 
you won't show up on the maps and you probably won't show up with your website organically. And then also you get confusion from your potential customers. They, you know, if they see one address on Yelp and another address on Google My Business, it's like, which one's correct or a different phone number, you know, et cetera. So that's the other thing that I'll do. Number three, I would get, like we talked about the other day as well, I would get more links. I would get more inbound links from other local businesses. And we implement about five different strategies. We implement five different strategies for getting more of those links from other hyper local businesses. And um, so those are the top three things that I would really, that, that I would do really crystal. I mean, there's, there's more um, and there's actually specific strategic things that you can do. There's, there's strategies that you can put in place specifically for Google, my business and specifically for Yelp um, and, and specifically for Facebook. Um, why those three? Because those are the big three. I mean, those are the top three directories out there right now for any small, medium sized business that people are going to go to. And about 60% of people are going to go and look at your reviews, um, you know, before they even call you up or visit your business. So it is important to, to see what, you know, to see what people are seeing and seeing if you're showing up to those, those, uh, your top keywords. So does that answer your question? Yes, it does. And you gave us some three, yeah. three steps as well. Well, and I think it's important to, because we get this question a lot, Ryan, and sometimes it's yeah. common, commonly misunderstood that it's an easy, easy fix. It's an easy, it's a quick thing that you can do immediately overnight. And so I, I yeah. like that, you know, you definitely outlined this and, and gave more perspective on it, especially since that question we get asked a lot. Okay. Question number two. Is Google yeah. the only search engine I need to pay attention to in local search? No, it's not. I mean, there's obviously there's Yahoo and Bing as well. And they, they make up about 20 to 25% of the overall search, search, uh, searches out there today. Um, now, I will say that other directories will show up in the search results as well. Other directories like Yelp and other specific directories for your niche, whether it's Avo for an attorney or you know, real sell for, you know, plastic surgeons, there's, there's niche and industry specific directories that Google knows are important for your niche or industry. And even for us, like if you, if you type in accelerate marketing, San Diego reviews, what are you going to get? You know what you're going to get because we go over this every week. It's part of our culture, right? <laughs> we drink, we, we eat our own dog food. We drink our own juice, you know? And, um, and we, we look at, we literally do the search on a zoom meeting like we're on right now. And we see what, what other people are seeing because yeah, I told this we want to know. Yeah. And, it, and it's constantly changing. I mean, it's, you know, one week it's, you know, glass door, you know, we've gotten some really good, we've gotten some really uh, good reviews from some of our, you know, some of our employees, both current and past, which I think is awesome. I think it's really great that um, I can show my, um, give me the, let's see, I can, yeah, allow me to add video so you can see me, Crystal. Um, oh, yeah. And then, but yeah, so Glassdoor is, is a review site that is specifically reviews from current and past employees. And I would tell I me mean, that's a, it's a little bit of a twist to, um, you know, to what people are, you know, typically talking about. Um, but, you know, Glassdoor can rank very first page if you get and focus on it. And like I've, like we've done crystal over the past two, three, four weeks. I mean, it's important. I want other people. I want my, I want my uh, people that we're potentially going to be working with to know that we treat our employees really well. And we've got favorable reviews from our employees as well. I mean, yeah. that's a, so that's a, that's a whole nother topic, but you know, my point is, is that there are specific industry directories, like I said, that you definitely want to pay attention to. And one of those you also want to pay attention to are even directories where you can get reviews from, from your employees as well. And the point I want to make here as well is that a lot of times when you, what you focus on improves. Okay. And so the point being is, is that we've, I focused on getting some glass door reviews from past employees. And when we did that, Google sees that. And that's why Glassdoor is ranking for us 
because we've gotten three or four or five different reviews in the past like months. And this is also something that I want you guys to pay attention to that when you start getting reviews on any particular directory, that directory will all of a sudden start showing up in the search results on the first page. Okay. So what you focus on, so I would, so what am I, one of the points I want to make here is this is figure out the one that's really important for your industry and your niche and focus on it. Focus on that particular directory. If you don't know which one to focus on, I would always start with Google first. Why? Because it's going to help you not only show up on the maps for Google, which is about 60% of where people go to um, in order to find out more about a business is they'll go to, they'll go to either Google and, uh, and type in a search result and they'll find you either on the maps or they'll find you organically in both your organic positioning in the search results and your maps positioning will improve by you getting reviews on your Google My Business page, okay? That's why I always suggest that you start with Google My Business first if you don't know which one to start with first, okay? So does that, does that answer your question? Yeah, uh, yep, <laughs> which was, is okay. Google the only search engine I need to pay attention to? Also, if you have well, any questions for us, Send us a message at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing, which I've also put in the comments. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you guys have any questions, I mean, I just, I just got a question this morning. It was funny. This guy, Tom, sent me a question. I responded to him within 15 minutes with a, an audio message. I mean, it's, it's, Messenger is great. I mean, there's, uh, I know Facebook's taking a lot of heat right now, but I mean, Messenger is, it's a, it's a separate tool and we can have a one-to-one -one audio back and forth message and even text or even video well, like live video which is great so i like that because you know you can use body language and you know 70 80 percent of communication is as we've said many times is body language it's very important it makes a big a big impact um and and that brings up a good point is that actually speaking of that video now is a part of google my business you know you just you just we just found that uh, you can now add google my you can add videos to your google my business page thereby making it so that you can leverage video body language and communicate much more effectively directly from your Google My Business page, which is really, mm -hmm. uh, really powerful. Constant changes. I mean, we're, we're always asked, like, how do you guys keep up with this stuff? And, you know, we do because, you know, we, uh, this is, because this is what we do. This is, this is all we do. But, um, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, oh. and, and I want to, I, I want to also say that, you know, what search engines should other people pay? So I, I want to get some clarity here. There's three main search engines out there. There's Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Directories are different from search engines. And I want people to understand that, okay? That directories are, uh, it, it, it gets confusing because Google is both a search engine and it's also a directory of businesses, okay? And that's where the, and so is Yahoo and so is Bing and so is Yelp and to a certain extent, Facebook, but not all directories are search engines. Okay. I want you to, so a lot of directories, I mean, there is, let me just, let me say this. There is a search functionality within directories, all directories where you can search for businesses. Okay. Um, but not all directories are as robust of a search engine as obviously like Google or Bing or Yahoo. That's what they started as. And then they morphed into a directory of businesses. They basically replaced the yellow pages um, so that you can go there and you can find the directory of businesses. And now they've incorporated that with Google maps and, and so that you can find businesses on maps and you can see their directory listing and you can also get directions on how to get there. So anyway, I hope that makes sense to just give that, that distinction yeah. there. That makes sense. And we're almost out of time. So the last question, could having missing information affect my Google My Business rankings? Could have missing information affect? Absolutely. What I already talked about yeah. that is that you can definitely have misinformation on your, um, on your directory or on your Google My, well, you can have misinformation on any of the directories. And if you do, then it, like I said, the, the, what'll, what will happen is, is you will confuse not only the search engines because they'll see that you've got 
a different name, address, and phone number, which we call a NAP for short, name, address, phone number, on Yahoo versus Google. And then they don't know what to make of it. They're like, okay, so which is right? They don't know. It's your responsibility as the business owner. And actually, that's what we, we talked about yesterday is, is that people know that it really is the responsibility. They hold you accountable as a business owner if that information is not correct. So it's really important. 60% of people said that they basically, or 54% or whatever it was, is close to 60%, say that they blame the business. So, I mean, right off the bat, you're starting off on the wrong foot with somebody um, if you don't have the correct name, address, and phone number. And it absolutely can affect both your rankings and that experience that that person might have with your business when they, um, you know, when they choose to, you know, either engage with you or not engage with you. So yep. say goodbye to Darcy. <laughs> Bye, Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perfect. Well, thank you for answering those questions, Brian. Those are the three most common questions that are asked when it comes to local SEO. Um, we're just about out of time. So just want to let you guys know Monday through Friday, we're sharing some successful strategies with you on how to become the go-to business in your niche. So this week, we talked about local SEO. Last week um, was Google, was not just Google, it was reviews and online reputation. But next week, we're going to be talking about Google My Business. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, send us a message at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. That link is also in the comments. And then we've also provided a link for you to download a case study. And this case study provides you with, um, oops. Yeah, and the link, by the way, is in the is in the comments. So if yeah, you just, want to make just sure. go to the comments, yeah, <laughs> yeah Crystal's going to put sure in the comments in below. <laughs> yeah, so Crystal's going to put in the comments below a link. So please just go and click on that link, and that way you'll be able to go directly and get that case study, download yep. it. There's huge value there. It talks about you know what you were just going to say there, Crystal. Yeah, um, a yeah. property management company that got over 371 reviews on Google. Um, first position on Google Maps and generated over 103 inbound leads per month from the search engines. So yeah. create a great rest and, of and your I, day. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And then, and then and next week's going to be great because the Google My Business stuff is really important. Like I said, we're going to mm -hmm. dive deep into Google My Business because there is so many new strategies that you can implement with Google My Business. And it is the big kahuna out there because that's where about 60 to 70 percent of people go when they want to find out more about a business because it shows up in the google search results 60 to 70 percent or more of searches are done on google and if your business is being found when they type in plumber san diego or attorney san diego or they speak to siri or alexa which is using google as their search engine when you voice speak hey alexa you know uh, plumber near me and you're in San Diego there basically what Alexa does is it goes in Siri does it goes right to Google and it does the exact same thing that it would do if you typed it in yourself and it just spits that result back and so it's really this is a very critical time there's a thousand 150 percent increase in searches voice searches so you want to align yourself I think Google searches are going to continue to be on the rise um, because they are very strategically positioning themselves with a lot of these, these uh, big uh, players in the uh, uh, voice space, like uh, Alexa, and, which is huge, and, uh, and Siri, which is, which is big as well. Um, but anyway, the, so definitely check it out next week because there's some very, very strategic stuff that we're going to talk about that's going to help you show up when people do those types of searches with their voice and or the old fashioned way. Woo. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next week. All right. All Bye right. everyone and create a great rest Bye. of your day. <laughs>